Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you, welcome back to another Division 2 video. My name is Prime and today we're going over all the talents in Descent and of course the talents that are in my opinion a must have in a run towards the Nemesis or even if you want to go further. But most of the people want to know what type of talents you can use to defeat that Nemesis. I still get a lot of questions on my streams asking what the best talents are, what the best combination are, what, what should I stack, what should I only buy one of, and a lot of those questions, because a lot of people still can't defeat that nemesis. So today I'm gonna show you all the talents, and don't worry, I'm not gonna read through everything, I'm gonna put them on the screen, and then you can screenshot them for yourself, or jump over to my Discord, they are all in there, and you can just save them to your PC, or to your phone, so you will always have them with you. And then of course, I'm gonna tell you what kind of combinations are godlike in this game mode, and definitely, definitely will help you out in taking out that nemesis, and hopefully getting that reconstructed caches to go for those named blueprints that are only within this game mode. In the background, I will have some gameplay of me defeating the nemesis yesterday on stream, so it might be a little bit weird seeing me on the face cam while I'm talking about something different, but here we are, we have something in the background and it's all about the talents. So without further ado, let's dive right in. And to go over the basics real quick, we have four different talent pools within the Descent a game mode. We have the offensive talents, the red talents, the defensive talents, the blue talents, the utility talents, the yellow talents, and then of course, at last, we will have the exotic talents. The exotic talents are the most uncommon you will get a lot more defensive utility or of course offensive talents and these are the ones that will be shown on the doors whenever you choose one of your areas when you walk up to a door you will always see three different colors or three colors on that door double red and one blue for example and that means that these are the colors that you will get at the end of beating that area so for example if you have two offensive talents and one defensive talents if you defeat that area you will have a choice about two offensive and one defensive. Those are the talents that you can choose for, so make sure if you're running towards that nemesis or if you beat that nemesis, make sure to keep an eye on the talent colors on the door so you can stack your build up however you like to play because it's still RNG what you get and it is still your own playstyle. While I like to run around and build towards a little bit more offensive talents, you might build around some more defensive talents or want to go for a little bit of a skill build. It's all your own choice, so these are all my opinions and what affects my game style and is the best for me. But let's get over all the talents. I will read through them pretty quickly. I will leave them on the screen so you can make a screenshot or of course, like I said in the intro, just dive over to Discord and save them to your phone or PC so you always have them with you. So let's start with the offensive talents. Within the offensive talent loop pool, we will have Allegro, Brad Basket, Close and Personal, Companion, Composure, Critical, Concussion, Eyeless, Gunslinger, Obliterate, Optimist, Overwatch, Precise, Spark, Strained, Surgical, Unhinged, Vigilance, and at last, Versatile. These are all the offensive talents that we can choose, so there are a bunch we can choose from. But again, I will show you a few personal preferences of mine that I will always go for. But let's jump over to the defensive talents. And for the defensive talents, we only have 10 different talents. So there's 9 talents less than the offensive. That is Adrenaline Rush, Clutch, Entrench, Insulate, Leadership, Preservation, Protected Reload, Protector, Safeguard 
and Vanguard. Those are all the defensive talents that the Descent has to offer. Let's jump over to our utility talents. And for the utility, aka the skill talents, we have 10 different talents within the Descent game mode as well. And these are Braced, Decructive, Energized, Empowered, Opportunistic, Optimized, Skilled, Tech Support, Trauma, and at last, Vindictive. These are all the 10 utility, aka skill talents, that the game mode has to offer. And these are the ones that you need to choose from to see what is the best for your build, aka your playstyle. And then for our last talent pool, we have the exotic talents, and there are a total of 11 talents that you can choose from. We have Adaptive Instincts, Agonizing Bite, Blind Justice, Bloodsucker, Breathe Free, Bullet Hell, Doctor Home, Glass Cannon, Instant Cheddar, The Plague of the Outcast, and at last, Sandman. Again, there are a lot of exotic talents that you can choose from, but there are a few combinations that are freaking godlike. And after the update, it seems like we're getting a little bit more exotic talents, even throughout running towards your nemesis. As we played yesterday, we got three choices to get for the exotic talents. But before the update, normally you would only get maybe one, or if you get lucky, maybe two, if you ran through a little bit higher floors to get to your nemesis. And even though if you go for the little bit lower floors, you still have a chance to get your three exotic talents before you hit that nemesis. So let's start off with the best offensive talents that you can go for within the game mode. But again, a reminder, this is all preferred a gameplay style. So if you want to go for something else, I'm not the one to hold you back. But these are the talents that help me out a lot. And talking to a bunch of other creators, these are the talents that most people are choosing. And those are Allegro. While equipped grants 7% rate of fire. This is just straight up, hands down, the best way to get some free DPS. The faster you fire, the faster the bullet come out of your gun, the more DPS you do. And then the second choice will be Optimist. Weapon damage is increased by 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. This is a very, very good talent as well because you're always firing, you're always reloading, so you will always get that extra damage output. The only downside on this is if you connect this to the exotic talent, Bullet Hell Optimist will just drop out because you won't have to reload again. So there is no 10% missing ammo from the magazine and Optimus just falls off. And then for the third one we have Surgical. While equipped grants 5% critical hit chance. As we know, boosting up your critical hit chance will definitely help you out doing a lot more damage, but there is a little bit of a downside because if you only want to get towards the nemesis, Surgical might be not the one to go for as you need to build up a bunch of critical hit chance to make sure that it will work for your build. If you go for one or two Surgicals, you only get like 10 to 15% critical hit chance. If you didn't stack into it on your NSA store, it is, in my opinion, not worth going for, but still a very good talent, especially after defeating that nemesis. The more critical hit chance you have, the more chances you shoot a critical hit shot, the more chances you do more DPS, the better it is to shred down enemies. Then jumping over to the next one, and that will be Unhinged. Grants 18% weapon damage at the cost of minus 25% stability and minus 25% accuracy. This is a must-have on most builds, as this is a free 18% weapon damage. You can just stack into armor cores, so don't go for weapon cores, don't go for skill cores, but every time that you can choose a core, and we're not talking about the talent we're talking about a core that you can choose go for armor core you will get a lot more tanky and we're getting our damage out from of course optimist and then the combination of unhinged 
And then the last offensive talent you want to go for, and you probably already guessed it, it is Vigilance. It's not that strong as in the base game, as it gives you 25% extra weapon damage. And this only increases your total weapon damage by 10%. And taking damage disables this buff for 4 seconds. So it almost works the same as in the base game, but is a little bit lower weapon damage. But this is still a very, very good talent to go for. Especially for your burst damage. If you're standing in front of a spawn point, just open up your gun. There is a big chance that you will not get hit. And then that extra 10% comes in clutch and talking about clutch let's dive right into the defensive talents shall we and for the defensive talents i have four different talents that you want to use or you want to look out for and those are adrenaline rush whenever you are within 10 meters of an enemy gain three percent bonus armor for five seconds and stacks up three times because we're kind of finding in small rooms except for the arena fight or of course against that nemesis, there is a big chance that this stack of three will come in and you will always gain that 9% extra bonus armor that will definitely help with your survivability and you don't really need to do anything for it. If you're just close to an enemy, then that extra bonus armor will pop in and you will have that extra survivability then for our next defensive skill that you want to look out for that is clutch if you are below 15 percent armor critical hits repair five percent missing armor again it's critical hits but you still hit a critical hit here and there and of course if you chose to go for surgical and if you build into your nsa store for some extra critical hits this is so freaking good because there are a lot of times that we are below that 15% armor or at least if you are below that 15% armor you need that armor back to make sure that you survive. So this is a very very good talent to have as a defense and talent as well. And then for the third talent I would go for that will be insulated and that will give you just a flat 10% hazard protection. As we know there are a few rooms that has some hazard in there, some fire, some shock, whatever that room has you are now protected for a little extra of 10%. But this is a talent I would go for after defeating that nemesis. Yes, it will still help out to protect you from all the hazard protections but if you want to go for three different choices of your defensive builds and you don't want to buy an extra slot i will leave insulated behind and i will choose for our last defensive talent and that is preservation preservation is killing an enemy repairs seven percent armor over five seconds and headshot kills improve the repair by an additional 5%. So if you take somebody out with a headshot, you're gaining an extra armor repair of 13% over 5 seconds. And this helps out a lot because we're always taking people out. We will always get our armor back. So if you want to go for three different defensive talents and don't buy your fourth talent, I would go for Adrenalus, Clutch and then preservation as those will give you the most survivability in the game mode and then we have our utility talents our skill talents and these are kind of tricky as you want to choose some utility talents to better your other talents so for example you could go for opportunistic enemies you hit with shotguns and mmrs amplifies the damage they take by five percent from all sources for four seconds but then again, you need to have a shotgun or an MMR for it. I don't think anybody is going to choose an MMR within the Descent game mode. So mostly it will be around shotguns. So if you are rocking a shotgun for your secondary or for your primary gun, definitely go for opportunistic. This will give you some extra free amplified damage. Then for our second skill talent, we are going for optimize, giving you a flat plus 5% weapon handling and this is again a choice that you can make if you have unhinged. We know that we are losing some weapon handling while we equip unhinged to gain that extra 18% weapon damage. So if you have unhinged on your build, 
and you see optimized as a utility talent, go for it. It will definitely help you out aim a little bit better, especially with those auto shotguns or if you're rocking an LMG. And then for the last utility talent, and this is hands down the best talent you want to go for, even if you're going to compare it towards your offensive or your defensive talents, and that is trauma. Applies blind to an enemy, hit in the head, the cooldown is 30 seconds. Applied bleed to an enemy, hit in the chest, cooldown is 30 seconds. And this doesn't sound that good, but on a nemesis fight, this is so so freaking powerful and of course trauma blinds the enemy for a few seconds and then you can easily take him out or of course stop that nemesis from healing or calling in his skills and these are the three utility talents that i would want to go for and definitely go for trauma and like i explained if you have a shotgun go for opportunistic and if you have unhinged on your build definitely stack into optimized and then jumping over to our last talent pool and those are the exotic talents and there are a lot of talents you can choose for because again this is all around your preferred play style how you like to play if you want to rush if you want to sit in a corner if you want to go for your skills it all depends on your playstyle, but in my opinion, there are four talents that you want to look out for. And that is Agonizing Bite. This talent randomly marks an enemy. Hitting that enemy consumes the mark. Guarantee a critical hit with damage amplified by 20%. After hitting a mark... All shots fired are guaranteed critical hits for two seconds. A new random enemy is marked afterwards and whenever you reload. This doesn't sound that good overall, but believe me, if you have this agonizing bite active while you fight the nemesis, you will always have that extra critical hit damage amplified by 20%. And every two seconds, you will have that critical hit. This does so, so much damage for you and will definitely, definitely help you out in taking out that nemesis. I'm not saying this is my go-to exotic talent because there are uh, other talents that I would rather choose first. But if you already have two different exotic talents, that agonizing bite is a very, very good choice to go for. Or of course, if you have agonizing bite and two other exotic talents that you don't want, go for that agonizing bite and then going over to our second talent and this is a personal favorite and i think a fan favorite overall and that is bullet hell this weapon never needs to be reloaded for every 100 bullets that hit an enemy replenishes some ammo to you and your allies reserves so this is so freaking good you don't only get some extra ammo but you never have to reload again and that is one of the times that you can take yourself out especially if you're running around with an lmg that takes like five and a half minutes to reload this bullet hell comes in clutch but overall bullet hell is one of the best exotic talents to go for for whatever gun you're using because never reloading again who doesn't want that then over to our third exotic talent, and that is instant cheddar. When you reload, rate of fire is increased by 20% for each enemy within 15 meters for duration of that entire magazine. Max stacks are 5 and kills refresh 50% of your magazine. The beautiful thing now is, is that we can combine bullet hell and instant cheddar together. Normally you can't reload while you have bullet hell active, but if you have bullet hell and instant cheddar active at the same time, you can still reload. So whenever a door opens, reload your gun and you have unlimited ammo with a lot, a lot of ray of fire and it is just freaking illegal you will see me take out the nemesis while this combination is active the bullet hell and the instant cheddar simulation terminated <laughs> 
Ah, <laughs> that is so illegal. This is just a freaking, freaking illegal combination and a lot of fun to play with because then you can up your rate of fire even more and you can even skip Allegro if you have these two talents activated. But again, that is just further in and probably after you defeated the nemesis that you want a little bit min max your build. And then over to the last exotic talent that is a very, very good talent as well. And that is the Plague of the Outcasts. Hits apply a debuff dealing 75% weapon damage over 10 seconds. This stacks up to 50 times. Whenever an enemy dies with this debuff, all stacks are transferred to a nearby enemy within seven meters and this is such a good talent because you only have to shoot enemies to build up that stack even if you're not stacking it to that 100 percent they will still get that debuff on them dealing 75 percent weapon damage over 10 seconds and this is just some free extra damage that you don't have to worry about everybody taking out and of course saves your ammo as well and that is very very important in this game mode as we know there is only two places we can pick up ammo on every single loop so plague of the outcast is one of the must haves as well so if you want to choose three different exotic talents i would go for bullet hell plague of the outcast and then if you have the choice for it go for instant cheddar those will probably be my top three so starting with bullet hell then choose the Plague of the Outcast, and then go for Instant Cheddar. If you, for example, have the Plague of the Outcast first and then get all other talents that you don't want, of course, go for Plague of the Outcast. But in my opinion, the number one you want to look out for is Bullet Hell because it never lets you reload, giving a lot more damage output and a lot more survivability because you won't have to reload so you can always keep aggroing your enemies but yeah guys that's pretty much it for everything surrounding all the talents that this game mode has to offer we read through everything and of course there are a few talents that you can drop if you have other talents on there or for example, like we talked about, if you have unhinged on your build, you want to go for some extra utility talents to give you a little bit more weapon handling back. But that's pretty much it, guys. I would love to know what you are using. What is your god tier that you always go for and helps you out defeating the nemesis every single time? Because this is mostly about defeating the nemesis, as a lot of people still have problems with it. So I hope this will help you out. I hope these talents will give you a little bit more insight in the game mode and now you know what to play with. Let me know in the comments down below if you defeated the nemesis and if you defeated the nemesis for the first time with help with this video, I would love to hear you in the comments. But that's it for me today. Thank you very much for sticking until the end. You are a freaking legend if you're still here. Make sure to like this video if it helped you out in any way or form. Or of course, if you like the video and want to help the channel grow. And of course, if you're new here or you just want to be updated about the Division 2 and the Division Universe, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well and i will see you in the next video pure prime out